Fresh out of hibernation, right? We're here with the Scorpion King on the Scorpion Full Moon. Red Pillar, fresh out of hibernation, man. Always good to have you on the lens, bro. I mean, we, I think we all out of hibernation. Yeah, at this point, at this point, spring season is here. Summer is knocking on the door, bro. But right now, it's crazy. I got to ask you this question, because you've been going in uh, with, with, uh, on the... On the um, Fear of a Black and More Messiah lectures, those segments. You were speaking on some heavy things about Moors and Christians. Um, I, I, re I recall you going in. What do you think, as it relates to that information, about Trump firing the head of the FBI or the modern day Inquisition gang? Do you have any piece to speak on that? Where do you think we're going with this? Like, what's happening? Yeah, I mean, it is talked about Comey in the first series, mm -hmm. you know, he was the one who um, was on Trump's tail, yeah. but he was also responsible for covering up a lot of the crimes that the Hillary Clinton gang was committing, mm -hmm. the whole Pizzagate thing, the pedophile rings, yeah. um, you know, he was privy to a lot of that information, yeah. so uh, you just seeing, you know, you're basically seeing a hostile corporate takeover. You know, you're seeing criminals at work. Right. You know right. what I mean? Like, yeah, cool. Jeff Sessions is the new J. Edgar Hoover. And whoever they get as the director of the FBI will be under the thumb of, you know, these corporate entities that are, in a, that are basically in control of not only the White House. I mean, they're trying to, they're going for global dominance. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, we'll talk at this so, point. Um, I don't really trust any of them at the end of the day. I mean, you don't know who's working with each other. Right, right. You feel what I'm saying? There's so many deals that are being cut under the table. Yeah. Trump basically went off, you know, his, his, his fate changed around the time when uh, Bannon got demoted. And they went ahead and let uh, McNasta take over and they started launching, you know, missiles against Syria, which was a light show, wasn't real, you know, right, it was basically right. to sway public opinion, uh -huh. but then the Zionist control media switched their tone and jumped on, you know, they became warmongers and jumped on the Trump bandwagon, so, you know, I don't, I don't know what's going to come out of that Russia investigation. Yeah. If he winds up becoming impeached, you still got to deal with Pence, you know what I mean? Right, right, it would right. Be a, it would, you know, the, the administration would be discredited, but uh, a lot of the damage is already being done. Yeah. You know what I mean? With the rollbacks and all kind of other stuff, like, there's a lot of damage being done already to the point where it's just be it's out of our control to even focus on that whereas we should be really focusing on what are we going to be doing mm -hmm. how are we going to be linking with uh indigenous aboriginal people around the world who are you know who are our, who are our allies yes like what come when are we going to have that combo Real who, talk. who's riding for us Real talk. you know or mm -hmm. who's colluding to topple this government or this de facto government to destabilize it the same way that they're showing you how they have become experts in destabilizing all kind of governments. Look at Venezuela. This video appears to show a helicopter flying over Venezuela Supreme Court. A government minister says shots were fired and grenades were thrown at the court building and the Ministry of Interior. President Nicolás Maduro was speaking live on television at the presidential palace while the incident happened. They shot from the helicopter against the offices of the Supreme Court and then they flew over the building of the Interior Ministry. This is the kind of armed escalation I've been denouncing. This is the kind of thing I've been denouncing. I've activated the Bolivarian Army Force to defend the right to tranquility. The helicopter pilot is believed to be Oscar Perez from the forensic police. He posted a message on Instagram. Venezuelans, we speak to you as representatives of the state. We are a coalition of military officers, police officers and civilians. We are fighting for balance and against the transitional and criminal government. The government says Perez has contact with the CIA. The helicopter carried a banner that read freedom and a call for the Article 350, 
which is the opposition's call for civil disobedience. But while the incident was taking place, opposition lawmakers were trapped for hours inside the National Assembly building, surrounded by armed government supporters. Look at Venezuela. The government of Nicolás Maduro has called for a vote to create a constitutional assembly to rewrite the constitution. The opposition say this is a government strategy to hold on to power and have vowed to do everything possible to prevent the vote from taking place. Protests have been ongoing here for weeks with thousands of people denouncing the Constitutional Assembly as illegal. The government says that there is a plan to remove Nicolás Maduro from office and they say that Tuesday's attack is what proves them right. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Caracas. Look at Syria. The goal for the United States is twofold. As I've stated, it's one, to make sure that we destabilize Syria, um, destabilize the conflict there, reduce the threat of ISIS, but then secondly is create the political environment, um, not just within the Syrian people, but I think you can, you can have work with, with Russia in particular to make sure that they understand that Syria, backed up by Russia's uh, own accounting, is be, should be held accountable for the agreements that it's made with respect to its international agreements on chemical weapons alone. Look at Yemen. This is what was left behind following the first counterterrorism operation approved by President Donald Trump. A U.S. raid on the small village of Yakla, southwest of Yemen, left the village devastated. According to the locals, 25 people died that day. It's hard to ever call something a complete success when you have the loss of life or people injured. But I think when you look at the totality of what was gained to prevent the future loss of life, here in America um, and against our people and our institutions and probably throughout the world in terms of what some of these individuals could have done. I think it is, um, it is, it is a successful operation by, by all standards. But from exclusive interviews we've conducted with eyewitnesses on the ground, here's what we understand happened. At 1 a.m., U.S. drones were heard hovering low over the village. Shortly after, three targets a clinic, school and mosque were hit. They were suspected of harboring Al-Qaeda militants. At 2 a.m., an Osprey aircraft that took part in the operation, similar to this one, crash-landed around three kilometers away from the village, injuring several Marines. The U.S. later destroyed their own $75 million aircraft. These exclusive pictures show the wreckage of the Osprey, which we've had verified by an arms expert from the Royal United Services Institute. Approximately 30 Marines then approached the village. They came by foot and they were loud. When the soldiers got here, they spread out and the villagers took out their weapons and began to shoot at them. That's when the fighting really began. Many of the people who ran out of their homes for cover were killed. Women and children were shot. Look at Somalia, look at all of these places, that, look at North Korea, they're working on destabilizing and regime change. So in between all of this destabilization, what are the fates of the Aboriginal indigenous people in all of these places? Because what's taking place in Syria is they're wiping out the Aboriginals of that land. What took place in Iraq and Afghanistan, they wiped out the Aboriginal. All of the copper tone complexion people and all kind of other things have been completely, you know, removed. When you see an immigrant crisis, you know what I mean, similar to what you saw in, uh, you know, they're saying that it reminds them of the Moorish invasion. That's what yeah. Europe is saying. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So Certainly. you got all of these far, when you hear far right wing, mm -hmm. that's basically Inquisitionists, that's conquistadors, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the Crusaders lining up. Don't trust Russia. They down with the Crusades. Those are Orthodox mm -hmm. uh, Crusaders with the Orthodox Greek Church and whatnot. Right. Um, you know, they don't care about us. They want control of the resources, they want control of the fossil fuels, they want control of the air, they want control of the water. Trump is a patsy, he's a corporate sponsor, you feel me? They just passed a law where they're allowing religion, religious organizations to become government. Today my administration is leading by example as we take historic steps to protect religious liberty in the United States of America.
We will not allow people of faith to be targeted, bullied, or silenced anymore. And we will never, ever stand for religious discrimination. Never, ever. Tolerance is the cornerstone of peace. And that is why I am proud to make a major and historic announcement this morning and to share with you that my first foreign trip as President of the United States will be to Saudi Arabia, then Israel, and then to a place that my Cardinals love very much, Rome. Yeah. So, get down, you know, stop yeah. talking about these, um, uh, what is that? Theocratic governments. Theocratic, uh, that as well. Um, for the brothers with the, uh, I'm looking for the term, it starts with an end. Uh, damn. It's a form of government mixed with religion. For everybody that's out here doing their thing and whatnot, they're gonna yeah. have to now come into government with their religion. Mm -hmm. You dig know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what's gonna protect you in these upcoming days. Yes. I don't even think corporations or being uh, protected by a corporation is going to truly, you know, protect people. You're going to have to come in under this religious ecclesiastical law. You know You know what I mean? And then we could begin to form government yeah. off of that. Real talk. But that's how it was before. I mean, even when you look at the fact that when the, the, the treaties were signed with Moors and these Europeans, they were identified as Christian powers. Yeah. So he's he been riding for quote unquote Christianity. Christian he's been dumb. campaigning for that since he came in. Facts. And, and uh, you know, look out for uh, Sessions. Like I said, Sessions is yeah. moving. He's going to move like J. Edgar Hoover. Uh -huh. um, they are they putting radical extremism, homeland Islam mm -hmm. on the terror list solely. They, yeah. they were moving the white inferiority or they were moving, you know, all of these hate groups mm -hmm. that we can identify with yeah. that are of a European, you know, Nordic, uh, Original, you know, um, background. Yeah. And they're gonna begin to target Islam. Yes. That's why the, the emphasis is on Chicago. It's not for mm -hmm. the GDs and all of them. Emphasis right, right. is on Farrakhan. Mm -hmm. What they doing over there? Right, the emphasis right. is on Jeff Fortin. You know, there's a lot yeah. of emphasis on what we're doing, what's being done in the courts, mm -hmm. what's being done with the paperwork, mm -hmm. the, the, the challenge to authority, all of that shit mm -hmm. is on the table. Mm -hmm. That's that's on that's on the that's on their agenda to stop. Yeah, absolutely. So when look, when we look at this first phase, Trump just passed his first hundred days. Do you think he's getting things in place so they can zone in on the Aboriginal you solely? You don't see that. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm just saying, we ain't lose our ability to foresee out yeah, there. Yeah, he's lining things up, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? A lot of policy, you know, um, that whole play with this world war, rumors of war, beating on the drums. If, if that does happen, mm -hmm. you know, they've already set things up in place to begin. They've identified 
they, through YouTube, through the adpocalypse, that's what they call it, mm -hmm. where they began targeting and tagging all of the free media and yeah. the independent media people. Mm -hmm. So now they put in their dossiers, they throwing them in folders. Yeah. They just had to put a lawsuit out on NYPD because they're holding all of the information that they're collecting on surveillance cameras. This morning, Muslim advocates filed a lawsuit in federal court on behalf of American Muslims in New Jersey challenging the New York Police Department's discriminatory and invasive surveillance program. A group of eight American Muslims from New Jersey has filed a federal Muslim lawsuit calling claiming that this morning that New York City's anti-terror efforts go way too far. They're angry and are now filing a lawsuit. The lawsuit that will be filed this morning is intended to take this controversy beyond the rhetoric and into federal court. We are representing a wonderful group of very brave plaintiffs that really represent the full spectrum of Muslims who were spied on. We have African American... A citizen who does not want this to stand for what we are. I know we're better than them. It's important we fight against this to make sure that uh, we're all respected and treated rightly in our society. I believe it was the right thing to do to stand up against this type of behavior. The idea of targeting people based on their religion is really in the, not in the self-interest of anyone, of any tradition here in New York and around the country. In America, one of the common values that we share is that you are not to be punished for belonging to a particular race, religion, ethnicity, or gender. When the government is in the business of treating an entire ethnic community as inherently suspect, it licenses people to act in the same way. It encourages racism. It doesn't help bring our country together. That's not acceptable. That's unacceptable. Since public officials with direct oversight responsibility have turned a blind eye towards bigotry, the victims have bravely come forward, turning to the courts as a last resort. This finally stops an egregious act that was happening against us. To have Muslim advocates uh, take this lawsuit against NYPD, um, I feel very proud that there is a group in America that can stand up for our rights. This groundbreaking case is important because this protects all of our rights. I see this case as, as having that sort of historic importance. Today it was surveillance on a mosque. For all we know in the future, it could be surveillance on a church, surveillance on a synagogue. You know what I'm saying? So they're, they're, you know, and then they, could, they, they created a new bureau for, um, it's basically like a new bureau, like an FBI. He created a whole new bureau. So they're moving a lot of pieces in place, you know what I mean? So if there was a world war, they'll do what they've done in every other country. They start, they destabilize the government, they destabilize it with a war, and then they begin to eat from the inside out, right? right? Then they arm different rebel groups and pit them against each other. And then when they're pitting them against each other, they drone in other people and they're blaming it on the group. You know right, what I'm right. saying? So Syria has like five wars taking place. Yeah. A perfect climate mm -hmm. to destroy and to execute and to cleanse mm -hmm. the real enemy. Word. Or the real eye. So they ship out all of the warriors out of the hood. All of the brothers who may be woke and, and whatnot wearing fatigues. Yeah. They got them occupied and in other places where they're lining them up, bombing them, or yeah. friendly fire in them. Mm -hmm. And then the people at home who are seen as dissidents, right. renditions, yeah. disappearance, you know what I mean? All of these other things. So mm -hmm. the time for people to get their act together. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's now. It's time, you know what I'm saying? Yo, but Red. This is gonna be a very interesting summer, you know. It is interesting summer. Uh, the, the, the atmosphere is right for infiltration inside of the community because it's yeah. fractured, you know what right, I mean? Right, 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 it's right, what right. it was. It's what you see in the 60s when they was all in the infighting yeah, and then they came yeah. in and swooped and cleaned and, they, and they, they swept them with the broom yeah. because they were weak internally. Yeah. So the community is fractured and weak internally mm -hmm. so anybody could just come and blow on niggas and they'll, they'll fall out. You know right, what I'm saying? Exactly, exactly. You know. Yo, but Ray, if I can make this point, tell me what you think about this. But what's going on right now, the vibration you was just speaking about, and some of the things they putting out in the media, it feel like they like they trying to reset us back before the pilgrims found out that the earth was circular. And I say that because 
Trump, he's going hard about Christianity, and now they got this quote-unquote theory about the earth being flat. Fear of a black and more messiah. Okay. They told you they're going to set the clock love. backwards. All right. And they're going back into mm -hmm. medieval mind state. Yeah. Dark age mind state. I got the article already. Real talk. The whole alt-right movement, mm -hmm. Steve Bannon and, and Richard Spencer and all of them, they deal with European... Uh, uh, European folklore and they also deal with European crusader um, history yeah. and they also deal with medieval pre-pre-pre-renaissance uh, pre, uh, pre -renaissance history so what you think and, yeah. and they their hatred for Muslims mm -hmm. is at an all-time high and it's coming yeah. out of Breitbart it's mm -hmm. coming from that side mm -hmm. so they always are harping on mm -hmm. the age-long battle and they understand you know what I'm saying they understand the, the spirit realm and they understand the fact that time is centri uh, centrifugal mm -hmm. so they know that it's it, you know they know that it hasn't ended right. this conflict hasn't they know they're looking at metrics they're looking mm -hmm. at analytics they're looking at paperwork they're looking at all of the th all of the data this is we're living in a world of big data now they compile numbers on you niggas and right. you it don't matter about what's going on in the ground they're mm -hmm. crunching numbers from Google mm -hmm. YouTube all of these other things, they're handing shit over to them. Vault yeah. 7, they all in niggas' phones, tapping phones, tapping computers. So they got the proof that there's awakening. Yeah. They yeah. got the proof that the, that the malls is back. The gods are back, the malls are strapped. We waking up and we want our land back. Right, 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 so, right, right, real talk. There's a there's there's a there's a reaction, there's blowback taking place. People don't realize that. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Real so it's like the rhetoric, mm -hmm. he just summoned the mm -hmm. Civil War. He invoked Andrew Jackson's name. There's right. nothing else to talk about him. If right. you don't know who that is, right, 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 right. right. If you don't Real know talk. what he did, mm -hmm. what how, how he how he adds in into the Moorish story yeah. or the Aboriginal, he's the one that was yeah. responsible for this whole flip. Trail of Tears. All of that. So yeah. Trump is positioning himself to become one of those presidents who is yeah. going to turn back the clock. He's gonna he's gonna mm -hmm. he's gonna be the one responsible for you know mm -hmm. setting us into this next phase of purgatory. Right. He's right, invoking right. the Civil War, mm -hmm. he's invoking in Jackson, they're invoking in Flat Earth, they're mm -hmm. invoking uh, the Muslim band, all of the countries in the Muslim band, mm -hmm. those are all factored, those are all Moorish, you do your Moorish history, they all factor in. So, you know, so, I don't know, maybe they know that the Messiah is here. Yeah, maybe. That, look, I mean, from books that I've read. <laughs> but then Kendra comes and says, oh. I'm the Messiah. Right, I'm an Israelite. Right, right. Mm -hmm. He said, don't call me black no more. He said, I'm yeah. not a politician. Mm -hmm. I'm Israelite. Real so true. he declared his yeah. nationality. Mm -hmm. And he said that, look, and he's speaking to the Jews on his label. Right, he's speaking right, to right, the right. Jews that are listening to his album. Mm -hmm. He's speaking to the ones who got to say King Kendrick. Right, 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 right. right. Because they on their Messiah shit. Yes. yes. This whole thing with Jared Kushner inside of the White House, where he's Netanyahu's puppet, mm -hmm. and, and, and the fact that um, the Zionists and all of them, the orthodox, the super duper orthodox mm -hmm. are in bed with Trump mm -hmm. and they are in bed with the evangelical right mm -hmm. because they have to fulfill biblical prophecy in order to do what? To set the, the ground for the Messiah. Mm -hmm. They got to march on um, Damascus in yeah. Syria. They have to march. That shit is in the book. Right, 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 right. So that's yeah. what they're preparing for. Yes, it will happen. It will be going down. You will see some niggas in Syria, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, marching on motherfucking Damascus. Right. So they are preparing. So now you have this conflict where we're in messianic times. Mm -hmm. The Messiah walks the planet. Mm -hmm. The Jews are trying to prove that it's one of theirs, mm -hmm. but then on this side, we're proving that one of ours is, is, is the Messiah, mm -hmm. or the mes Messianic ones, yes. or the Messianic people. It's plural. So, mm -hmm. you know, Absolutely. niggas are still lining up for Jordan. Right, right, crazy. <laughs> niggas crazy. are still popping Molly Percocet yes. and then worrying about the frivolous things. So, yeah. you know, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. Who's prepared to just say, you know what, fuck these niggas. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. about us and it's gonna be and it, and it has to be about us because mm -hmm. can you carry all of that weight? Right, real Are tough. you even built for it? I mean we can't even barely carry ourselves at this point. Right. Can you right, carry right. 
all of that weight because they have through neural programming, neuro linguistic, uh, uh, you know, through programming the minds, yes. they made our people enemies of themselves. Damn, they in too deep. Word. They in too deep. Yes. They are the proverbial suicide bomber, but they blowing themselves up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with no practice. So, you know what I'm saying? yeah. So let me ask you this, Red. Um, you saying that they have, they hate themselves. Real brief. I know, you know, we all, we, we, we felt every emotion from other people, meaning we have people hate on us, feel jealous of us, show us love. Uh, when you when you step out and you've been putting on for the people for a while, you're speaking for people. That's to me. That's love. You feel me? I'm not looking at it like something you gotta wait for. God, I'm, you think I give it? off love. Okay. I give off love, but I'm just like you. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna play me. Absolutely. That's, that's something you gotta walk with in the heart. Do you find that, you know, when you're on your Moorish duties or your, your missionary duties or whatnot and you're spreading this love, do you find that it feels odd because a lot of people don't even know what it is? Always. That's what you I think it is? That. Uh huh. That is. They, you know, so, you can tell when people haven't been loved yeah. <laughs> by dealing with vibrations and energy. Uh -huh. Especially the love vibration and the love energy. Right. Because it's such a high frequency, it's the highest frequency. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. We'd rather have love before we have peace. <laughs> like it's crazy. Wow. We say love, peace. And happiness, nigga. We want happiness last. We rather have love first. Baby. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Right, 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 right. Because right. we know love brings all that stuff. It brings peace and happiness. Exactly. That's why love is first. Exactly. Love, peace, and happiness. They don't say peace, love, and they don't say happiness, love, and peace. They don't say that. Right, right, so right. Love, right. peace, and happiness. No doubt. You understand? Because no love doubt. brings everything. All no that doubt. stuff, all the good stuff. No doubt. So what the devil is doing is destroying love because he isn't born from love. They got that self-hate. They got that shit going on. Can they connect or what? I mean, mm -hmm. even, even with people who are considered to be dead, yeah. Meaning that their frequency is vibrating at a pace where they are literally dead. Uh -huh. Especially the love vibration and the love energy. Right. Because it's such a high frequency, it's the highest frequency. Simple you know the more truths, yeah. Um, there's still a glimmer of hope. They still got love for self to right. some degree. Mm -hmm. A nigga's chilling outside a Foot Locker waiting for the new Jordans. He has a level of love for himself. <laughs> He's displaying a love for himself from the sneaker right. up, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Right, right, right. We just have to tweak. Mm -hmm. We got to, the, the mug truck talk about build the wall. Well, niggas have been built the wall around their brains. Yeah. Well, they built the wall a long time ago around right. a lot of our people's minds. Mm -hmm. So we got to be like Jericho and, and crumble those walls. Like, you know, if... I gotta walk through a hundred zombies yeah. to get to one enlightened person like I do every time I come into Harlem when I hit Lexington yeah. where they got the dope fiends, Ward's Island, the bus that goes to Ward's Island, mm -hmm. the shit zombie land. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta move through the motherfucking zombies <laughs> to make it, but I'm always assured mm -hmm. that I'm gonna run into a star child. No I'm doubt. I'm gonna run into somebody that's gonna shine that light. No doubt. Usually somebody's like, yo, Red, out of the crowd. Yeah. I might not even stock him. Yeah, real no shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, one thing that I know mm -hmm. about this reality that we live in is holographic. Yeah. A lot of these niggas ain't even real. Word. Okay? Word. Word. They're products of our thoughts collectively. Word. The collective thought form creates something called the egregores. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, some of these people are not even real. They're, they're just part of their, the extras that appear in the movies, like in the video games. 
in the video games and be a nigga that's not, it's a whole bunch of niggas in the background not moving. And then it's the main character. I'm focused on the main character. I'm not focused on the extras. They don't even qualify. They're just extras in a movie. Like, I'm not even investing in them like that. You know what I'm saying? So, they not real. I'm dead ass. They're not real. Like, you put, you would hit them with a shot. The motherfuckers would just, clothes just fall. It would just, not even real, bro. That's how I gotta look at it. Right, and right. Real talk. Yeah. The people who are real uh -huh. gonna magnetize, yeah. magnify. You know what I mean? That yeah. light is gonna shine. Yeah. You gonna know who they are. Yeah. So mm -hmm. unless there's none of us left, mm -hmm. then I will completely give up on. You know, mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, the ship has finally sunk and hit the bottom of the ocean floor. But it's too many people waking up. It's too many. I, the babies is up. I they, know. They wide awake. Yeah. And you know, what does the word black mean? You want the new definition or the original? Uh, just give both. Well, the word black today means dead or the absence of light. But the word black back in the day means bleach or to make pale. The sisters is waking up. Yeah. The young yeah. guards, when I walk through the street, mm -hmm. it don't matter. There's not a face to consciousness. I, I got mm -hmm. full facial tats, throat tat, neck tat, right, ear right. tat. Yeah. You know what I mean? Piercings everywhere. Yep. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. All complexions, uh -huh. all sizes and shapes. It doesn't matter. Yeah. They want, they get in there, they want this claw. Yeah. They salute. They like, yo. And I can imagine the people who are watching mm -hmm. the other 20 or 30 other teachers are out there mm -hmm. and they don't even know who I am. Right, so right, it's right. not even like the people that are identifying myself, themselves to me are the only people that's awake. It's so many. Right. I can see it on people now. Right, I, I've right, reached right. that level where I can see the I can see the light. I can see certain kind of, you know, vibrations and frequencies on a person. Mm -hmm. So I see it more than I see the fuckery. You know what that, I mean? It's always been it's always been people who have been vibrating at a low frequency ever since I can remember. You Real dig what shit. I'm saying? Yep. So yep. I'm not necessarily saying that, that you know what I mean? Because the more you wake up, the more you're going to see dead niggas. I'm not insulting you. I'm just saying you're dead. That's what Negro and nigger means. Yeah, real talk, real talk. The and more that it, you wake up, yeah. the more your eyes open up, you're yeah. gonna see they live. Right. So right. I'm inundated with this shit now. I'm seeing yeah. all kind of shit around me, but I don't let it deter me. You real feel talk. me? I don't yes. let it deter me. Uh -huh. You know, but what I do know yeah. is that That's if anything was to happen so calamity wise mm -hmm. or you know one of these false flag events you know what I mean one yeah. of these time changing events like a 9-11 uh -huh. um, you know it's gonna wake more people up yeah. before yeah. it puts them to sleep mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. my job that I signed up for my missionary work yeah. is to continue to help those who have awakened yes. and guide them in a direction that they mm -hmm. could wake up even more. Right. You know what I mean? Because you got the subconscious, yeah. you got the conscious, and you got the super conscious. Yes. We want to penetrate all levels. Yes. You feel me? Absolutely. So, you know, whatever's gonna happen, whatever Trump is the best thing to happen to Negroes, blacks, and colors <laughs> in a long time. Real even time. to yeah. Moors. Like yeah. they gotta the Moors, if they don't find a, 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 a reason to come together under this administration then you've identified your agents. Absolutely. Then you've identified everybody that sent these books that have been mm -hmm. written. Mm -hmm. Then you've identified cowards. Yes. Because yes. cowards will fight each other mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. shit get before they will fight the adversary. That's the true. We're Real tough. warriors yes. will come together <laughs> and put their ego to the side mm -hmm. and identify the fact that mm -hmm. they have a common fuck. That's Absolutely. true. Right? Real facts. And it takes a yeah. real special kind of person who's been brought up through different eras in order to move like that. You yeah. can't just come out your fucking house yesterday yeah. and right, just right. do that. You're not right, right. a video game playing as nigga. You just yeah. can't do that. That's Real not talk. that's not gonna be in your DNA. Right. This right. The, 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 the dark nineties, mm -hmm. the motherfucking two thousands, all of these dark eras that we went through have prepared us for this age of enlightenment. So I'm just living it out. I'm just no I'm doubt. just walking my walk. Right you know what I'm Real talking talk. about? And if more yeah. people were to 
to, were to walk that same walk and to walk together and to be resourceful and mm -hmm. to be more committed to helping out people who are helping millions, mm -hmm. we would even be walking fast. We would be speed walking. Real talk. But now we're just talk. doing the diddy bop, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And doing what we can do. In the case, you yeah, but the, it's, yeah. Back. It, yeah. But you know, I believe in, uh, I, I got faith in my ancestors. been guiding us and, and, and creating these scenarios, putting the information in our in our in our eyes. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? The Absolutely. reason why I'm able to tell and foresee and tell people certain things before it happens. Yeah. So I know that they're going to create a way. Absolutely. You feel Absolutely. me? They're gonna create a way and they're not gonna put anything on our plates that we can't handle or That's we can't eat. So definitely you know, That's facts, yeah. bro. Definitely, right? Well, highly appreciate you all the time for pressing the lens, man. Yeah. Um, we definitely um, got to talk to you about some other things we want to get you back on. Yeah, we have a live stream coming yes. up, which mm. will be um, a part of the Fear of a Black Woman Messiah series called In Too Deep. All it's right. going to be a live stream through Black Magic 363, Brother Rich's channel, uh -huh. a pay-per-view. Uh, that will be coming up towards the end of this month. Word. So the app. The KTL app oh, yeah, in the yeah. store. Mm -hmm. That's the best way to stay in touch with us right now. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, uh, we're not on YouTube like we usually were. Right, right, right. Uh, the app that, is right. the best way to reach us. You know what I'm saying? We went and took the technology and, mm -hmm. you know, stopped talking about it. We just applied it. So yes. that there's a membership site for the Facts Initiative on there. The music is on there. The, the 700 blog talk shows is on there. Um, That's what's up, bro. Uh, KTL University, KTL Empowerment, Black Magic 363, uh, the shop, all of the clothes and uh, the herbs and stuff like that. It's all there. That's dope, bro. You feel me? Yeah. So, you know, we don't need YouTube. You there know what I'm saying? We're bigger than YouTube. So, for certain. The streaming service. So, we yeah, could begin to stream original content and yes. they, because they own everything on YouTube. Right, right, right. You can't beef with them, they own your content. Like, that's yeah. there, so that's there, and they cut you a measly check, a mm. few dollars for a hundred thousand views, mm -hmm. and then they own your content. So once we realized that was the play, we was like, hell to the nah. That's not the this big... intellectual property, not not not. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, because right. Because that right, will right. be used against you yeah. later on down the line. Right, you know right, what I mean? Right, they're coming. Right. They might come out with documentaries with all your work and get money and monetize it, commodify it themselves. No doubt. So that's so, so that's what that. Pay for you or whatever they were doing, where they'll pay you for. That's what it comes out to. Yeah, yeah, it comes out to some hidden agreement. And it's all in it. It's all in it. It ain't even hidden, huh? It ain't even hidden. I just wanted to give you a greeting. Yes. <laughs> it's it's long. Long. I'm it's done. It's long. Yes, yes. All right, I'm glad to see. So you go off the cesspool on Facebook and YouTube now. I mean, I try. Wow. To, yeah, I try my best to, you know, stay. Somewhere on the surface. But I gotta, I have to always go into that realm. I know we do. It's the matrix now. That's your proverbial matrix. Mm -hmm. it, it is social media. Mm -hmm. With Neo and them gotta come out of Zion, dress mm -hmm. up, and then step into this <laughs> cesspool of madness. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? This uh, toxic environment where there's agents, where yeah. there's people conspiring against you, yes. where there's yeah. all kind of ciphers. Remember Cypher, who was the yeah. traitor? Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, all yeah. of that is at play. Yep. So we just gotta be able to walk light. You know no what I mean? Doubt. Yes. No doubt. Just gotta be able to walk so, light and so. just do the work. You know what I'm saying? And prepare for, you know, just prepare to defend yourself at all times. Absolutely. Against all kind of attacks. Absolutely. Right. That being said, peace and love. Red pillow.